I'm just kidding. This isn't even a real cane. <laughs> it's like a tent pole thing for a hot tent eye. But anyway, if you caught my last video in the Grand Canyon, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I got rescued. I was in the hospital for three days, but I'm actually like 95% now, so I can totally walk. I didn't mean to scare anybody. I just thought it'd be fun to mess around with uh, <clears throat> the fact that I uh, got pretty messed up in the Grand Canyon. If you missed that video, I'll put a link in the description for that so you can go check it out. Uh, yeah, it was pretty wild and uh, we are doing great and I am super focused on getting back out on trail very soon. All right, we got six backpacking, I guess gadgets if you wanna call them that, uh, backpacking accessories, all under a hundred bucks and probably, uh, many of you, most of you aren't using them and you're thinking, damn, why would you add stuff to a backpacking list? Don't you wanna go ultra light and take as little as humanly possible? Yes, you do. But some of these items are like, oh, wow. I'm glad uh, we're talking about this because I think I need that. Even though it's gonna add a little bit of weight, it's gonna make the experience that much better. So let's jump into the first one here right now. You know what this is? This is, yes, it's a knife, okay? And yes, it might look rather large, but wait till you see what kind of a knife this is. So my buddy, his name is Steve. He runs a YouTube channel called Firebox Stove. He's got an Instagram, huge following. Every video he puts out gets like hundreds of thousands of views, I feel like. He does backcountry cooking and all kinds of cool stuff. And he obviously um, invented a stove called the Firebox Stove. <laughs> but he sent me this knife. It is a folding, chef knife. So if you're into backcountry cooking, or even if you're not really into backcountry cooking, but you like to, you know, chop a few vegetables here and there and you want a good experience doing that. Look at that. So this is a seven ounce knife, which is pretty lightweight for what it is, but it's the right size to be able to cut vegetables, you know, like your potatoes and onions and tomatoes and carrots and whatever else you're gonna be cutting. And the balance on this thing is awesome. So it's made by Steve who was a chef and now owns this company making cooking items. And most of his videos are on cooking. It's just completely cool to be able to have a knife like this that you could obviously multi-purpose out in the field. You wouldn't need to bring a second knife. Would I bring this on every backpacking trip? No, I would certainly not bring this on backpacking trips that are like, long distance or I know I'm not gonna be cooking like meals where I'm gonna need a knife like this, but if I'm just going for the weekend, maybe one or two nights, something close, that kind of thing, and I already know maybe I'm fishing and I'm gonna be cooking up some fish or whatever, this is awesome. This is the knife I would certainly bring. It's a liner lock knife, so that means that when it opens up, the lock is built in the frame here, so you just push this over and it just Closes right back up again. It's got a hole right here. You could open this up with one hand if you like. Now closing it, it's probably gonna take, uh, yeah, I guess you could do it with two hands, but you wanna be careful obviously doing that. The other thing I like about this knife is look at how thin it is. So if you're a chef, right, you want your knives nice and thin to be able to cut through really, really thin slices of whatever you're cutting. And you also want a nice width on the blade to be able to use your knuckles as sort of that you know, that brace as you're cutting. So that's really nice too. Yeah, super cool. Steve, you did a great job with this knife. So he's got a Kickstarter that just kicked off. <laughs> so make sure you head over there, support him, pick up a knife. It's only 60 bucks, which is actually a pretty awesome deal for a knife of this quality. Let's find out how much this knife really weighs. He says seven ounces uh, with the sheath here. What do we got? Okay, seven and three quarter ounces. That must be with the sheath. Let's see. On the website it says seven ounces. Okay, less than seven ounces. Not bad, Steve. All right, the next gadget up on the list is an app. It's an app I talked about many times. It's Onyx Backcountry. But before you click forward, you're gonna wanna know about this because they just made a huge update to their premium version of the app. It costs a hundred bucks a year. Okay, that maybe sounds like a lot of money, but when you see what this can do, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, that's cool. If you don't know what the app is, first of all, it's a navigation app. So it gives you like a GPS uh, directional navigation in the backcountry, so you always know where you're at and you're pretty much never gonna get lost. And you can literally point this in the direction you want to go and see where you should go. And you can find campsites, you can find trails, 
it's fantastic. But when you zoom in now, watch this. As you get closer, you start to see that names start to pop up on the list. And you start to see, now if this is your house, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's actually public record. But it's pulling tax records essentially, and it will tell you every house, every person that owns that house, or every plot of land, it is showing you the private and public lands out in the backcountry. So that way, if you are, let's say you're hunting, um, or you're backpacking or whatever, and you wanna know, am I on somebody else's property? It will show you if you're on somebody else's property. Also, the new commercial filming rules that are out there that many of you may have heard of, a lot of you probably haven't, but if you're planning on filming yourself out there, now you have to get commercial permits on federal land. Yeah, that stinks. This gives you the option of knowing where you're at when you wanna film something. So YouTubers, this is a great way to go, oh, look, look I'm, I'm on Susan's land here. Hope she doesn't mind if I film a video of her corn. <laughs> oh, there's corn on Susan's property here. The premium feature now gives you access to private land. Awesome, super helpful, very cool. Uh, yeah, just a great, great update to this app. So I'll put a link in the description for this app. Next up, if you're in a building fires and you should do so responsibly, you're gonna like this next item quite a bit. A lot of guys, when they build fires, uh, sometimes when you get out there, the firewood is wet. Maybe it's difficult to ignite, keep going, that kind of thing. And you've got your head down by the fire and you're blowing on the fire, right? Well, I found one of these. This is called a pocket bellow. It's like one of those old school TV antennas from like, <laughs> I'm dating myself, but like from when you were a kid <laughs> or maybe your walkie talkie. All it is is just a lightweight tube that you just put in to wherever you want towards the fire and blow and it will stoke the flame. And this thing is super cheap. It's only $15 on Amazon right now. Yeah, okay, less than an ounce all in. So how many grams do we got here though? 28 grams, okay, what if I didn't bring the case with me? 19 grams, not bad. So help you keep that fire going, very cool. If I know I'm going out to have a fire for sure, like if I know I'm gonna have a fire wherever I'm going, this is absolutely going to come with me. Okay, I talked about this recently in a video, uh, recently as in like the past month or so. Um, super cool. Also has to do with fire. <laughs> I like fire apparently. But if it's like you can't have a fire, you're gonna wanna bring this with you if you want to have a fire. It is the Fire Maple Lantern. Watch. Check that out. How cool is that? So it works off of your, <laughs> I'm gonna let my camera up there on fire. <laughs> I gotta be careful. <laughs> let me see. Yeah, so that's pretty hot. Okay. I'll put it on, put it out here like this a little bit. But this, <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. This is a terrible idea. This is what you would put on your, <laughs> let me just turn it off. You're gonna put this on your, your gas canister that you would already bring for backpacking. This leather like cover is just a fun accessory that you can get with it to make it look cool. You don't need to bring this. It actually makes it a little bit heavier, but the lantern is, it's a glass lantern. You're obviously not gonna have plastic to light it. You can bring a lighter like this. This is probably the safest way to do it. Uh, I would probably though just bring maybe a book of matches and light it that way because you gotta be able to go inside of here to light it. And then obviously you just adjust it, the how bright you want it with this. And it lasts as long as the gas is gonna last in your canister. So if you're going out for a couple nights, bring the bigger canister and you'll be able to cook and have fuel to have light around the fire. It makes a great ambiance. Now. What is this way with just the lantern? I think we should check that out. Let's see. 122 grams. Uh, what is that in ounces? So four and a half ounces-ish or so, give or take. So not bad. And then in order to protect it, it comes with this plastic case. You can just drop it in here like this. So all in, what do we got? Six and a half ounces. Now, yes, that's a little bit heavier, but if you wanna have a fire, and you can't have a fire, but you want the ambiance of a fire, this thing is super cool. It makes the camping experience feel like you're actually camping rather than having like 
some LED headlamp that's just ugly. <laughs> just, you know, looking around and blinding people the entire time <laughs> you're at the campsite. So very, very cool little uh, lantern. Okay, this next item, pretty awesome. Um, so the problem that I've had in the backcountry is whenever I check weather on like any device, my phone if I've got a signal or if I pull a weather report on my Garmin, it's pulling from the local radio tower or weather tower or whatever, weather station or local city, the closest it can get. And it's pulling a report that you know, might be at a different elevation from what I'm at, might be, you know, several miles away, uh, it might be several hours old, and I wanna know what it's at right where I'm at. I wanna know the exact temperature from where I'm at. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to tell like the forecast of exactly where I'm at unless I pull a report somewhere, but I can tell the temperature with this, it's actually called a hydrometer, <laughs> I think I said that right, which, basically means that it can measure moisture count as well. So it tells you the temperature and the humidity. It's Bluetooth. Now this isn't something you're gonna wanna get wet. This isn't something that you're gonna wanna hang outside of your tent unless maybe you are maybe gonna put it in a plastic bag or something first just to make sure it doesn't get wet because it's not waterproof. But I keep this inside of my tent and I have on the past couple of backpacking trips and it syncs Bluetooth with your phone. Like right now, I know where I'm at. It is 72.3 degrees. So when you open it up, it's gonna sync. So it just did a sync, just did a refresh. I can go by the hour and it'll tell me exactly what the temperature and the humidity was. I can go by the day. So if I want to see, you just go like this, kind of squeeze it in like that. And then you could go back to when I was in the Grand Canyon and I could see exactly what the temperature was on that Sunday that we had to get rescued, how cold it got down, let's see. So that morning I got rescued, the temperature was 16.7 degrees. Now the website says that it's accurate within a half a degree, that's pretty accurate. And that was inside of my tent. And I don't hang this like at the top of my tent, I kind of keep it right about head level, so maybe on top of like my ditty bag or something, so I can kind of really gauge about what I'm actually gonna feel inside of the tent, but man, this is so useful. All right, you gram nerds, let's see. Under an ounce, 23 grams. Are you kidding me? That's awesome, so super cool. All right, this next gadget, it's a way to make coffee by a company called The Brew Company. Now, they send it just like this, and there's coffee inside of here, Super, super lightweight. It's a pour over coffee that is um, like specialty coffee. So you can pick any type of coffee you want off of their website. I've enjoyed all of them. Different strengths, it's uh, different uh, roasts, um, different countries. Um, it's all brewed in, uh, manufactured in Denmark. But what this is, is when you open up the top here, the coffee is already inside of it in a filter that's hanging on the inside. And then you pour over the coffee right into the bag. It drips into the lower compartment. You snap off this little cap here and you pour it into your cup. Now, are you gonna throw this away? You certainly can. You can clean it out, whatever you want to do with it. But this is actually reusable. So let's say you've got this, right? And you. Maybe you didn't like the coffee for whatever reason and you like your own coffee that you have at your house better. You can put that inside of here, cap it off, Ziploc it, and use that as a pour over. Now let's see how much this thing weighs. All in, 35 grams with the coffee inside of it already. One and a quarter ounces. Yeah, this thing is legit. Really cool way to make coffee. It takes up virtually no room, very lightweight and you got actual pour over coffee, not some freeze dried stuff, in like four minutes for mild or eight minutes for strong. They've also got tea. If you like tea, pour over teas. It's pretty awesome. We'll put uh, links to all this stuff in the description below. What do you think? You like those gadgets? Do you have gadgets of your own that you uh, wanna tell everybody about? <laughs> Throw it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.